Hey guys, I've got something to show you. This is the A-Star 32U4 little development board, um, Arduino compatible. It's from Cool Components, these guys here. Um, they actually have cool stuff, so you should go and check them out. Um, I'll put a link to where you can buy this. It's kind of cheap, it's not very expensive, and it's pretty awesome. Now, this is uh, the 32U4, the 80 mega chip anyway, um, and you'll find that on a lot of boards. It's got uh, USB sort of abilities built in, so you don't have to worry about FTDI or all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's not all. It also has a step-up regulator on it, so it can run from batteries. And it works. It's, this is the ultra low. Le, nah. This is the the ultra low voltage version. So it will work down to um, 0 0.5 volts. So basically, you can power it from a standard AA battery, uh, or if you want to be a, a bit more careful and worry about the efficiency of the step-up regulator, then you can use two uh, AA batteries. Um, I'm going to get the, it comes with headers, so I'm going to get these soldered on um, and then we'll look at some of the capabilities of the board and test it out with an AA battery. So here we are with all the pins soldered and it whacked into a breadboard. I've got a blink sketch going. I've decided not to solder all of the pins so they face down into the breadboard. The battery ones I've decided to point up so that I can hook up uh, battery to it so that we can test how well it works with uh, a different number of batteries, so I guess a different voltage. So this battery is fully charged, so it's kicking out around 4 volts, 4.2, something like that. In fact, we can have a look. Uh, I've got a multimeter here, so we can test it. So the battery's kicking around, around 4 volts. Let's just disconnect it from the circuit so that uh, it's not dropping any, any voltage. So it's about 4 volts. Let's just plug that back in. So it means the regulator is not having to do a lot of work there to, to push that up to the 5 volts that we'll see on the line. Um, so if I just ground there and we can poke around and have a look at the voltage. So um, here I'm looking at the 3.3 volt. So that's about 3.3 and then the 5 volt. So that's pretty steady actually, Look, I mean it's not bouncing around an awful lot, I would put that down to the meter bouncing around more than anything. So we're getting some good voltages out of that. Let's try it with some um, different batteries. So I've got uh, a single AA and I've got two AAs. They're not very good batteries but we'll test the voltage before we, uh, we hook it up. There we go. So that one's kicking out 1.5 volts which is fine. So let's, let's try and push it into uh, the a star and we'll see how well it works on a single AA battery. Not very well. So we're we're only drawing around 20 milliamps to flash this LED here, but You'll see this LED down here is flashing very, very quickly. It means the, the A-Star is resetting. Um, so I'm pulling too much current. Uh, all that battery is unable to provide it, so it's not a very good battery. Let me find another battery and we'll see if that makes a difference. Right, so this one is a rechargeable battery, so it's going to have an even lower voltage than the 1.5. Oops. Well, that isn't working at all. It does not want to turn on. They're definitely all connected, but it doesn't like that voltage. Let's test it out with a multimeter and see what's going on. So we're rocking 1.2 volts, but this, uh, this doesn't want to come on. This is the ultra low voltage version, and it doesn't seem to want to work with that. So let's just pull out this LED so that we're not drawing any current. Well, not, not very much. And we'll plug all of this back in and see if it will just turn on.
No, not at all. It does not like that. So that's interesting that it, it won't work with a single AA battery. Let's try it with, um, with two. So again, we've got the same cheap batteries that we were using before. They're kicking out 1.5 volts. Um, I don't know how much current they'll allow to be pulled, but it should be sufficient. So let's plug these in. Oops, it's all getting tangled up here. Oh. There we go, so it works with two. Uh, in fact, we can put that LED back in. So you can see it, it does work, um, but not with a single AA battery. So it does claim to work down to 0 0.5 volts, but it doesn't seem to be displaying that. So with this single AA battery, it is drawing 80 milliamps, um, but still not turning on. So I'm not sure what that means, um, honestly, uh, but it doesn't seem to display the, the 0 0.5 uh, volt advertised lowest voltage. Um, I don't know what the lowest voltage would be, um, but we can hook it up to a power supply and find out. Right, so I've got it hooked up to my power supply. I've limited the voltage to an amp, um, which should be more than enough, I would hope. Um, I'm starting off at five volts, and we'll see how low we can go. So five volts, it will definitely work. And uh, the, the regulator will stop um, stepping it up at five volts. Um, so it's drawing about 40 milliamps. So let's just try changing the voltage down. So we should see, um, as I bring the voltage down, we should see the current start to rise. So there we go, once we've got down to an extra volt, let's just start doing this a bit quicker. So this is our, our two AA cells. They're going to be drawing around 70 milliamps, let's call it that. Now let's go a bit further down and we'll see if um, it would work with one cell. So currently we're at 2 volts and it's pulling 120 milliamps and it is working. And we'll just keep going down. So at 1.2, that's one rechargeable cell, but it didn't seem to work when I plugged it into an actual battery, so it's pulling out 220 milliamps. Might be starting to get warm now. Even further. So we're at 0.9, and it's pulling half an amp there. If I go down even further to the 0.5 that it's stated, Whoa. It doesn't like that, so it's, it's trying to pull more current than I'm, uh, I'm limiting it to. So I wouldn't be very comfortable at hooking that up to 0.5 volts and expecting it to work. It would be pulling far too much current for many batteries to handle. So um, it probably will work down to 0.5 volts, but you're going to need to be able to uh, give it a lot more current than most batteries will be comfortable providing. So let's have a look at... Um, this hooked up to uh, a lipo battery and we'll throw it onto the scope and we'll see what the uh, the noise is like on the uh, on the lines so this is the little a starboard hooked up to um, a little lipo battery um, which is just here that's kicking about four volts um, and I'm just flashing an LED just to see what the noise is like on from the uh, from the setup regulator so so, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Um, so you'll see, I've got it set to uh, 10 millivolts per division, and it is about 10 millivolts, so that's the kind of noise you, you expect to see this sawtooth kind of thing with these step-up regulators as the, uh, as the inductor uh, charges up and discharges, so that's what that is there. So that's actually, it's, that's quite good, I think. Um, a lot of the ones I've played around with have more like 15 millivolts per division, so that's, uh, it's, not, it's not a lot of noise really, it's quite good. Bear in mind though, I'm only drawing a small amount of current from, uh, from this LiPo battery, so it might increase uh, as you start to draw more current. So guys, this has been a quick uh, look at the A-Star 32U4. 
I like it. This is the ULV version. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, I like it. It's good. Um, I'm not sure about the claims of 0.5 volts to 5.5 volts um, for power, but uh, 0.5, if you're happy to bung an amp into it at 0.5 volts, or even more than that. I mean, my power supply was uh, throwing a bit of a fit there, so uh, I'm not quite sure uh, of those claims. Um, but it only had 10 millivolts um, noise on that line with the, the sawtooth pattern we saw with the inductor charging up and discharging. Um, so actually it's pretty good. Um, I'm impressed. I would go for two AA batteries. With one AA, I mean this was resetting very, very quickly so it wasn't able to provide the current. Or the battery voltage was dropping too much, I'm not sure. Uh, it's difficult to tell. However, I would recommend this. Um, it's from com Cool Components, as I said before. I'll put the link down there so you can have a look. And I'll put a link to the manufacturer's website so you can see um, their details about its, uh, its specifications, which I'm not sure I believe, but uh, I guess that's up to other people to test who are perhaps better at it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I do recommend it, but uh, maybe with two AA cells.